So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question. I say that because the question is three or more lines long. Um, so the idea with these types of questions is initial, well, first of all, most students I work with will say that these are the types of questions they hate to see because they just look so intimidating, right? There's so many words, so many lines here. Um, even the answer choices look a bit intimidating. So the strategy is to really break it down quite a bit. We want to read a sentence at a time and translate any important information from that sentence, especially quantitative information, before we continue on to the next sentence. And then hopefully at the end of writing those notes down and writing those translations down, we'll be able to kind of piece together the picture of what's really being asked for and the information that's been provided. So the first sentence here says a software company is selling a new game in a standard edition and a collector's edition. So I'm going to just say SE for standard, standard edition and CE for collector's edition. The box for this standard edition has a volume of 20 cubic inches. All right. So under standard edition, I'm going to have a box. I'll just draw it as a three-dimensional box. And we know that the volume is so v equals 20 and i'll just say inches cubed um, and the box for the collector's edition has a volume of 30 cubic centimeter or 30 cubic inches i'm sorry so collector's edition also comes in a box but its volume is larger its volume is 30 cubic inches the company receives an order for 75 copies of the game okay and the total volume of the order to be shipped is 1,870 cubic inches. All right, so I want to make sure I understand that and translate that. So first of all, the company receives an order for 75 copies of the game. Do we know what types of additions each of those orders are? It doesn't seem that we do. And, um, you know, peeking at the answer choices a little bit, I'm going to get rid of this E and just call it S for standard edition. Get rid of this E and just call it C for collector's edition because I see those I see those variables being used here. So we're going to say, well, we know that S plus C equals 75, right? There's some unknown number of standard edition and some unknown number of collector's edition um, games are going to add up to 75 copies. And then the total volume of the order to be shipped is 1,870. Well, when I multiply the number of standard edition by 20, and I add that to 30 times however many collector's editions there are, those two must add up to 1,870. Hopefully that makes sense. The next sentence says, which of the following systems of equations can be used to determine the number of standard edition games S and collector's edition game C that were ordered. Well, we have this system of equations here just simply through translation, okay? So we wanna see, well, which answer choice matches what we know to be true that we've already kind of outlined here. So choice A, 75 minus S equals C. Well, that's, that is true. I can subtract S from both sides. That would be a true statement. And then 20S plus 30C equals 1870. So I actually like answer choice A. Um, it is a true statement, so I like that. Choice B, 75 minus S equals C. So obviously that's also correct. But for choice B, we have 30 times S. Well, that's not true. Why would I multiply the volume of the collector's edition by the number of standard edition, right? So B is gone. And then for choice C, S minus C equals 75. That's definitely not true because it's S plus C equals 75. Choice D also has that S minus C equals 75 equation, which we know is not true, so D is gone. So that just further confirms that choice A is the best answer here.